So taking a look at another example similar to the first type where we have actually, um, in this case, just going to be setting two e equations equal to each other. So the initial amount of bacteria in a petri dish is 100 individuals. Okay, so when I see 100 and that initial, I'm thinking this is going to be my A value is 100. The population increases exponentially by 28%. So that's the giveaway right there that I'm dealing with the geometric sequence. And for an R value in this case, knowing that it's increasing by 28%, I have to go 1 plus 28 divided by 100, and that will give me 1.28. So my R value is 1.28, and my A value is 100. Now after a certain amount of time has passed, the population maxes out and starts to decline following the equation. Tn is equal to 800 minus 30n until the population levels off around 250. So how many hours do the bacteria reach their maximum after how many hours do the bacteria reach their maximum population, and what is that maximum population? Okay, so um, in this case, I'm going to write out my equation for the first part, which is going to be that I have a Tn is equal to 100 times 1.28 to the n minus 1, coming from our equation for geometric sequences. And then I've been given another equation, Tn is equal to 800 minus 30 in. And it's in a format that's slightly different than what we've seen, and in fact this is an arithmetic one, it is a linear sequence as well. Um, but that's okay, we don't necessarily have to recognize that. The only thing we need to recognize is that this first sequence is an increasing sequence, the bacteria is going up, and the second sequence here is decreasing, the bacteria is somehow going down. So these two equations are modeling what's happening, the bacteria increasing, and at some point they're going to switch from following that increasing curve to being on the decreasing curve. So we need to find this point where they intersect. So what we can do is just set these two equations equal to each other. 100 times 1.28 to the n minus 1 is equal to 800 minus 30 n. So let's give a view and see what happens. We can put this straight into our um, solver. And see how we go. So solver one hundred times one point two eight to the power of something I don't know minus one. This is going to be equal to 800 minus 30 times something you don't know. Press enter and ask it to solve. Okay, so this is interesting. We get an x value of 7.98, so n is equal to 7.98. Now that's not exactly like a specific day, but it's awfully close to something. So we're saying it doesn't happen exactly on the day mark, or on the hour mark, sorry, but it does happen awfully close to what we would say here is eight hours. So at eight hours, it happens to max out and start to decline again. So the next part of the question is, um, what was the maximum population? So here, now that we know that n is going to be equal to eight, we can use our Tn formula because we know A and R and figure out what that is. So Tn, sorry, it's T8 because we're looking at the eighth hour, is equal to 100 times 1.28 to the power of 8 minus 1. And if we put that into our calculator, what will we get? So 100 times 1.28 to the power of 7, 8 minus 1. And we get 562.94. 562.94. Again, because we're dealing with bacteria here, we probably want to round it. So you could say 562 or 563. I might say 563 because we're awfully close to it. So it's maximum population, 563 bacteria, and it happens at 8 hours. And we get that information by setting up these two equations and putting them equal to each other in my solver.